Hello, today's vlog comes from Willenhall where I'm taking in Sporting Kelsa versus Anstey Nomads. This is a, hold on one minute, Northern Premier League one Midlands match. Uh, step four, eighth against third, and Anstey have actually only lost one match all season. So it's one I'm really looking forward to. I'm also joined again by my best mate, Thunder. So any other real? There he is. So uh, let's have a look around the ground. So this is Jake, um, he's the guy that invited me up here, so thank you Jake. Um, no, no, he's just going to show us into the home changing rooms. No, no, no. Oh, I don't like this music, it's a bit young for me. There we go, there goes the manager. Okay, before the game, I've been joined by Sporting Council manager Ian Rowe. Now, Ian, you, your side's sitting eighth at the start of play. Um, how's your season gone so far? Not as not as what was hoped. We, you know, we, we had hopes at the start of the season of you know having a title push. Yeah, yeah. Um, December we played to that really. We had a real poor, poor December. So at the moment we're sort of playing a little bit of catch up. But yeah. Hopefully, got a few few injury problems today. Got three or four missing. Hopefully, in the face of adversity, we step all well, the lads stepping up for coming to the side and hopefully we have a positive result. Yeah, so you've got a really, really big game today actually because Anstey Nomad sitting in third, only lost one game so far this yeah. season. Uh, what are your thoughts on facing them today? Um, it's going to be tough. They beat us at their place 3 1. Okay. Um, really good side together, unit, yeah. all pushing the right direction and they've got some talented boys. Yeah. Um, so it's going, to be, it's going to be a tough one today, but we're at home, we're on our own pitch. Looking to bounce back from last week's performance, what beat four nil at home last week, which didn't go down very well at all, to be fair. But prior to that, we were six, six games unbeaten, so okay. we're, we're able to get back on it today. Um, good. And finally, uh, so when, when the team leaves the dressing room, what's going to be your final message to them? Three points, please. Three points, it's as simple as that. Three points. Anyway, thank you, Ian. Good luck today, mate. Thank you. Thanks for your time, buddy. And, and yours, thank you. Bye. Cheers. So this is Simon, and he's on the PA for Sporting Kelsa. Now, if you have a look at his view, he can't see everything. So he has to literally keep running in and running out every time there's a goal or a substitution. Is that hard work, Simon? It is, yeah. Come on! Oh, we more did one Nomads eventually get us underway, playing in red from right to left. Prediction time. Okay, I'm going with a 1-1. One -one. Thunder, what do you reckon? Um, Sporting Council, my local team. First I've been here, so I'm going to go for a positive 2-0 home win. And this is what Mike reckons. That's close. Good, good ball, good, good ball. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, he's giving it. Is it. No, he's not, oh, not giving it. No. no. I it was a he's onside, he's onside. Side knitting. Yeah, it's going through. Three minutes gone, a lightning start to this game. By the way, that scoreboard is being in use for the first time today. Good ball. Oh, yeah. Lovely finish. Yeah. Eight minutes in then, and Fonda's prediction gone wrong. Oh, Great ball, oh, oh, lovely ball, what a ball. Oh, that is a beautiful goal. Twenty-two minutes gone, and now my prediction goes to pop. That's <laughs> <laughs> the second goal. Oh, oh. they're in trouble. 
Think about four. that. Think about that second goal. Great tackle. Yellow. <laughs> yeah, yellow. Great oh, Ooh. that was a game. Oh, <laughs> that little toe in there is vital. Just keep hold of the ball. Nice, nice. Like that. You were right, mate. You were right. Hey, you got that film? Yeah. <laughs> Just a little toe there to keep hold of possession was key. Yes, as well. Oh! Oh, 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 great effort. Oh, that's oh, oh, well, what do you say? Oh, well, he's not even moving, look. Oh, here he is. Oh, don't know what I want to go in there. So this is Nathan and uh, Sporting Kelsa supporter. Nathan, give us your thoughts on the first half. Mm, not great. I think it's a follow on from last week against Corn. Can't match their physical, they're playing well. Yeah. We're not, we can't get the ball down, they're not letting us play, so it's they're, they're a good a side. Struggle, very good. So I think the best side in the league, I think. Yeah, because you yeah. lost last week at home to Corn, Corn yeah. didn't you? So um, yeah. with the uh, second half about to start, um, what do you think your team needs to do? Just keep playing. We've had little parts there. We can get the ball down and play. We've yeah. played quite well, but it's not having been enough. Yeah. Just keep playing. We can get another one. Yeah. Get another one. Get one. We should be wrong. Try and get back. But well, play our stuff, but they're not there. They're on to play, so it's quite yeah. it's well, difficult. There's, there's no doubt that you need the next goal of this match. Yeah, so, um, I think so, definitely. Going on to something that's slightly different, um, how long have you been a supporter? It's been five, five and a half years. I've come 2018. Yeah. And then I lost my dad in November 18. And I came here. And um, I did. Uh, black arm bands of players, mini silence. For your dad, yeah? Yeah, for my dad. And Incredible. it's been like, so the club's like in the park. Yeah, really. yeah. That's I get quite emotional when I talk about the club, but yeah, it's been five and a half years. And it's a huge part of my life, so. Yeah. Well, condolences to you. No, I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Thank you for your time, no, mate. I appreciate anyway, I'm a big no, fan, mate. So I appreciate what you're doing. Oh, no, don't worry about me, mate. That's a great story. No, Cheers, buddy. Oh, thank thanks, you. Mate, thank Cheers. you. It's a big ask, that's for sure, for um, Kelsa to get back into this half, into this match because Anthony Nomads have been terrific. Good, Good ball. ball. Oh. Well done, keeper. Yeah. Do you know what? That's the first time the goalkeeper's been worked this yeah. match. Oh, oh. unlucky. Kelsa have come better. to life, but yeah. is it too late? Good ball. Good ball, yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, shoot! Yes. Oh, oh, unlucky, unlucky. It's the ball, he's on, he's definitely on. Must be. Beautiful. Game over. Yeah. He's walking loud. Oh, oh! Great effort, great save. Oh, Someone was on their phone. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. No laughing. He's better than us. Chance. Goal. Good goal. Good goal. Lovely finish. Look at that. They don't believe it's over. He's yeah. getting the ball back. He's there playing the match. He's number seven. Goal, 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 number seven, Robert Bond. 19 minutes. Can they? I said 20, didn't I? That's good. <laughs> so we've got Luke and Kai here, Anstey supporters. Now, uh, not only Anstey supporters, but Leicester City supporters, right? Yeah. Season Tell us what you just told yeah. me. So we're both season ticket holders at Leicester. Uh, I think we've been to, I've been to four games this season. He's been to three. Two of mine were away. 
Um, yeah, so we're, yeah, we're having a good time. We started coming down a couple of years ago and we, we've just never looked back now. Like, we're loving non-league football. Yeah, why non-league over pro football? I think pro football's just been ruined by the big money now, money, isn't it? Like money, money and time, VAR, VAR yeah. and yeah. down here you, you're, a, you're a face, you're not a number. Yeah. A big club, you're, you're a number, that's all you are. Down here you're a face. Yeah. Well, okay, cheers guys, I totally agree with you. And by the way, uh, yeah. the Anstey fourth goal scorer, <laughs> he's got his own little sticker here. Mmm. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's cool, Corner yeah. ball. Unlucky. Good turn. Good go. Oh. Great save. Chance again. Well done. They got a second. Too little, too late now. It's only about three minutes to go. We're already in stoppage time. So, what is passing the second minute of adding on time? Number 16, Marvis on a bit of handling. Lovely finish though. Oh, nuts. Good tackle. It was a good tackle. Yeah. Look at that, no crying on the floor either. Just exactly, straight yeah, up. that's how it should be. Yep. Oh. So I've been joined after that wonderful match by Jordan and JJ. Uh, lads, um, what did you think of your afternoon's performance? Well, any away game's hard, isn't it? So yeah. uh, to come away with three points and like I said, I would travel an hour and a half. It's a good day out for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you were sensational in the <laughs> first half. What, what was the manager saying to you to sort of like keep you on an even kill? He just said keep at it, just do nothing out of, out of the ordinary that we normally do, just, just press high just, uh, and score. Yeah, yeah, you're pr proper clinical yeah, today. Terrific. Yeah, just, just fine because I know you want to get back to the uh, change rooms. Um, still in third place. What are your chances for automatic promotion? To be fair, we just got we just focus on every game, so yeah. we just keep ticking them off as we go along, don't we? Just tick them yeah. off and then yeah. just keep seeing what everyone else. As long as we're that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's all we can do. Yeah. Uh, well, I must admit, I was very impressed with your team today. It's the first time I've seen you. And I don't think you've got nothing to be scared of. You could actually go up as champions, but Harborough have something to say about that, won't they? Anyway, yeah, thanks, guys, for your time. Appreciate it. Well played, guys. Thank you. Guys. Thank thank you. you. So there we go, then. A very impressive win for Anthony Nomads. Very good side, actually. Really, really good. But I'm really pleased for Sporting Kelsa that they made a fist of it in the second half and showed what they could do. Uh, talking about Kelsa, amazing setup, honestly. Everyone has been so friendly. Thank you, Luke, for inviting us here. It's magnificent. Uh, the ground, yes, step four, definitely ready for step three football, maybe even higher. I know they've got plans for, for around here as well. But yeah, I can't speak highly enough of the club. Uh, so any ground hoppers, get yourself over here. Okay, um, I'm gonna be shooting off any second now because this is the longest vlog I've done, 75 miles, thanks to your funder who's holding their camera. Um, next week, I'm going to be revisiting a Buckingham-Winslow clash, but it's the return fixture at Winslow. It's 4-4 just before Christmas, so I have to go to that. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share, and I will hopefully see you next week. So until then, ta-da!